the Scottish Highlands. It's been on our bucket list for a number of years. Now we can finally tick off a small part of this vast area of Scotland. Over the next few weeks, we'll be showing you the breathtaking highlights from our fantastic 10 day trip that saw us sail on Loch Ness in search of the mythical monster. Visit ancient thousand year old ruined castles and the only Highland fortress to have been continuously occupied by the same family for 800 years. We'll drive the dangerous and famous Applecross Pass, walk some of the stunning hiking routes on the Isle of Skye, and travel by steam across the famous Glenfinnan Viaduct, showing you some of the most amazing scenery in the country. And let's not forget the incredible seafood larder Scotland has on its shores. We'll eat our way round the Highlands too. Join our journey designed to inspire you to visit this stunning part of Scotland. Our journey began way down south in London. Good evening from Euston Station. We're taking the Caledonian sleeper service to Inverness overnight. We'll be arriving there at around 8.45 in the morning. So uh, join us for an experience on this train before we start our Scottish adventures in the Highlands over the next few weeks. The sleeper service runs every night from London with various seating options. This was a one-way treat for us and we picked a club room at £330 for the two of us. It may seem a lot, but remember this is transport, bed and breakfast included. Hello there. Hi. What a mess. Pricing varies, so be sure to check out this website for the latest booking information. The cabins are small to say the least, but you do get your own toilet and this doubles as a shower cubicle with towels provided. There are plenty of power and USB outlets at each end of the bed so you can recharge all your important devices. And we found these little bags on each of the beds. Caledonian sleeper branded and inside we have a little selection of amenities, a sleep kit of earplugs, eye mask and soap, a small bottle of water, and lots of other items we won't bore you with here, but it was quite comprehensive. The best feature is the bed, which was very comfortable and allowed for a good night's sleep, rocked slowly by the carriage. It's not included in the ticket price of the train, but we were quite well prepared and bought our own snacks and booze. Um, there's no cups or anything provided on board, so we bought some paper ones and we shall be enjoying a nice Argentinian Malbec. The train running on time made its way up to Scotland and we got some well-earned rest, but not wanting to miss any of the early morning highlights, I was up a few times catching the train leaving Edinburgh Waverley Station just as it began to get light. At this time of year in late June, dawn is around 4 a.m. Lifting the blind again at 6 a.m. we finally see what we've come for, the Highlands of Scotland. So that was the overnight sleeper service. We've arrived in Inverness and it's time to head out to the Highlands. Next time, our Highlands adventure starts with a bang when we drive to Urquhart Castle, high on the rugged banks of Loch Ness, to find out some of the history behind this picturesque ruin dating back to 1230.
to join us this coming Saturday, make sure you subscribed and click that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes of this breathtaking tour. See you soon.